and welcome to another episode of Testing 1-2. In this episode, I'm going to take a look at a new product that just came out today. Um, it's called Smart Reaver by a company called Sonable. They made Smart EQ2, which is, I used in the uh, DI Base video a couple of weeks back. Um, they make some really cool AI-assisted software. Um, so I'm going in blind here. I haven't actually had a look at it yet. So um, hopefully it's pretty intuitive to use and we'll give it a go on this track. It's another sort of rock track that I've been working on. Um, no reverb or anything on it. It's just totally dry at the minute. So we'll see how it goes. Let's take a look at the tour. So it's got a capture button like Smart EQ. Smart Reverb is an AI powered plugin that delivers a tailored reverb by aligning its processing to the characteristics of the input material. The plugin en enables you to quickly find a reverb style that fits your vision. At the same time, it offers incredible control in both the time and frequency domain. Okay. Get started by analyzing the input signal. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, there's different profiles like Smart EQ. Start playback. Hit the record button. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then you've got a sort of a D pad kind of thing. Okay, cool. Interesting. All right. So what did I put that on? The vocal group, yeah, okay. So there's sort of a background vocal, it's a little bit of a Queens of the Stone Age type vibe to it. So we'll let it go on that.
try it on the guitar here, it's solo. Try this one again, but with a vocals preset. Right on the drums here. The default sound sounds quite nice, actually. I like it. I like it a lot. Works really well. It sort of adjusts to the sort of speed of the riff there, so it's not smearing the overall sound of the riff. The articulation of the riff sort of stays. Cool. This compressor is 
another one that I'm going to have to do a review of this and the 175. Both really cool, sort of tubey type sound to them. Or does it work on bass? Wouldn't normally put reverb on a bass, but let's see. There's no. Actually doesn't sound bad. Probably losing a bit too much articulation though.
definitely get some really nice sort of tonal differences there by just shifting this about and the high pass and low pass filter decay times everything's really cool <laughs> Yeah, so I'm um, really impressed with that. That's a very cool plugin. I think it's on offer at the minute for 65 euros, 69 euros, something like that. Cool plugin, for sure. I'm a sucker for a good reverb. I'll have to take a look at their smart comp as well, which is a sort of similar AI-assisted take on a compressor. Yeah, really cool. I liked what it was doing there, and it didn't take too much adjustment to get it sounding the way I wanted so it sort of gets you part of the way there and then is really intuitive to actually tweak it to get it exactly where you want it so yeah recommend it let me know what you thought in the comments cheers <laughs>